Hey guys, it's Danny here with Literary Tater Chip Channel, and uh, today is a bit of an album review. Uh, I'm reviewing uh, Dime by Daryl, The Hits. Uh, I got this on vinyl. Actually, I got it for a uh, Christmas gift from my father-in-law. Uh, I didn't even know this album existed uh, until he got it for me. It was pretty cool. Um, if you guys don't know what it is, it is a... Uh, this is the back of the album, a uh, compilation of a few of Dimebag's uh, like tracks that he's done throughout the years, just really by himself and with a few uh, guest uh, people on these tracks. Some of them are like home recordings and stuff. I will be going through uh, the tracks here in a minute, but there is a inside sheet on it too. Um, basically, it gives a synopsis of like each song going over. Uh, there's some quotes from uh, uh, Rita Haney, uh, Dimebag's longtime girlfriend, and uh, a few other uh, quotes from people that have uh, like remixed this uh, these songs. Um, and they also have the the words that you uh, to the songs that Dimebag wrote. And for not a lot of people that know, Dimebag was actually a very very uh, decent singer, and uh, I'm going to go through the, the tracks and tell you how this album goes and how well uh, I think it went and all that. Um, the first song, Ain't No Struggle. Uh, second song, called True. Third song is called uh, Let's Go. Fourth song, Twisted. Uh, and the last song is called Whiskey Road. Um, there's only five songs on this album. Again, these are from like Dimebag's like you know, hidden studio tracks and stuff like that. Um, but uh, when I listen through this album, even though it is very short, uh, these songs are fantastic, and a couple of them are like really, really funny. Uh, the 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 song "True" actually is like sounds like some like Bref Breakfast Club Stranger Things like 1980s like techno kind of thing. It was pretty funny, and. Uh, also, uh, there's some pretty deep and heavy songs on this as well. I think where Dime was going through some troubles in his life and where he was at in his head. Um, but the first listen through the album, I thought it was fantastic of just hearing other things other than Pantera and Damage Plan um, from him. And you know, it just brings a different side of Daryl, I feel. Um, and that that's even quoted in here on the, the album Inside Sheet is it's not Pantera, it's not Pantera. And thirdly, it's not Pantera. And, but regardless of that, the guitar playing on it is phenomenal. Uh, there's a lot of uh, solos on here too that are really really fantastic and, and like I said before I think it gives a different perspective on Daryl and where he was at in some parts of his life and just having a, always trying to have a good time or you know when Panther was kind of falling apart that's where some of these lyrics I, I feel come from um, all the lyrics are written by Daryl. All of the, the so uh, songs are obviously written by Daryl. Um, uh, he, he does vocals, bass, and guitars, and I think a trombone and one out uh, one song. Um, he does do use a, like a drum track and a couple of these, but other uh, songs have a, a guest drummer on them. Um, again, these are like not like you know, high-end studio quality songs, but they are mixed very, very well. And playing it on this vinyl, which this vinyl's pretty sweet, um, it, it just gives it a whole new life too. Um, but my reception of this album, it's fantastic. It's wonderful. It's funny. It's uh, uh, heartwarming as well. And you, uh, for a change, you actually get to hear, you know, Dimebag singing, which, you know, 
If anything, Dimebag could have been a singer and guitar player at the same time, which I know he did like on live stuff. He would do live vocals, but live vocals are a different thing. But anyway, I feel like this album is fantastic. If you guys can pick it up, please do. It just gives a whole new life to what Dimebag is. And I know I'm a broken record about it. Dimebag's my favorite guitar player. Pantera's my favorite band. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, whatever you know uh, that, and that's why people get me this, these kinds of things is because they know how much I love Pantera and Dimebag so and again I didn't know this was coming out and somebody thought of me my father-in-law and got me this album and now that I've listened through it and you know it, you know it, it gives me a whole new appreciation for all this stuff hi Strider and uh, all the you know music that you know that Daryl has put out and all that stuff. I'm still looking forward to whenever Vinny releases the second Damage Plan album. Um, but other than that, you know, um, uh, again, I can't keep saying it, but it gives these a whole new light. And on a different respect of that, there's a the the Whiskey Road um, song. It, it's got like a kind of a heavier country music feel, kind of like that uh, outlaw country. Which that's where I'm getting with this is if you guys have never picked up uh, Rebel Meets Rebel, which it's Rex Brown, Vinnie Paul, Dimebag Darrell, and David Allen Coe, who's singing and playing a little bit of acoustic and other guitars on the album. Um, it's a phenomenal album. I know country music's not for everyone. It's not even for me. But this David Allen Coe slash Pantera, that's why I call it Rebel Meets Rebel, um, album is phenomenal. And some of the guitar playing on that album is so damn good. And needs to be, you know, highlighted a lot too, other than, you know, Dimebag just being a part of Pantera. He had other bands, you know, well, other bands. Uh, he had Damage Plan and he had Rumble Meets Rubble and then he created this plethora of, like, singles that have never been heard before. That's why, you know, something like this comes out every so often, you know, along with, uh, you know, that song that came out a few years ago by like Pantera every song that they basically made was put to a disc and and but somehow in the mixture of things and what have you the song Piss was never put on an album and they, somehow they found it and it was already like mixed and mastered and everything but it never made it to I believe it's supposed to be on vulgar display and uh, it, it was just recently found a couple years ago, and it was finally like thrown out there, of like, hey, Pantera has a new song, or well, new old stock, I should say. But anyway, um, it's just those things of like uh, people that are close to Dimebag are finding these uh, songs and music that he's produced that, you know, he probably wants people to hear and luckily he has deep family and deep friends that are able to find these songs mix and master them to the quality uh, the best of quality that they can be and then putting it out there just for people to see another side of Dimebag Daryl so I'm going to end this on, you know, I give this album, a, a, you know, two thumbs up and everything. So if you guys in the future see this video and you want to pick up some dime bag stuff that's not, you know, Pantera and Damage Plan, pick up Dime Bag Daryl, the hits. It, it's pretty dope. And remember guys... And puppies over there fighting. Let her rip, tater chip. <laughs>